Speaker recognizes Representative Camilleri. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise today in support of the amendment which would tie bar HB 4869, 4870, and 4871 to HB 6042 to expand universal background checks on purchases. Madam Speaker, it's happened again. 21 people have died during a mass shooting at a school, 19 kids and two adults. Yesterday's mass shooting in Uvalde, Texas hits home for all Americans, but especially Latinos. My great grandmother first came to Texas from Mexico. My great grandfather and his family were in Texas from when it was Mexico. Texas holds a special place in the heart of our community. The commonplace of floor speeches recognizing tragedies that have occurred at another school, another supermarket, or another place of worship has created an infuriating and numbing routine. A mass shooting happens, overwhelming news coverage, recycled speeches and hand wringing, thoughts and prayers, and no action. We are five days away from the six month anniversary of the school shooting right here in Michigan, in Oxford. Last night, Oxford School Board had a moment of silence for the victims in Texas. They're still grieving themselves. What kind of dystopian timeline are we living in when this is what our communities are relegated to? What have we done to make elementary students safer from gun violence? What have we done to make middle school and high school students safer from gun violence? Very good representative from the 51st district introduced HB 6042 in the hopes of making school safer. Safer. I applaud him. I think that it will do that. But it is just a step in the right direction. And I support the bill. But it's also a horrifying reality that we have accepted school shootings as the norm. So much so that we have to prepare our law enforcement with military style mapping technology to stop the shooter. As it stands now, the weapon more than likely that was used in Uvalde can be purchased in Michigan without a background check. Without a background check. A weapon that when fired at another human being at an elementary school, again, doesn't require a background check to be purchased. But what it does do is it requires DNA swabs to identify the victims. I don't know about all of you, but when I saw that video of parents going back and forth, getting their DNA swab to see which of the dead children was theirs, I, I cried. We all cried because the impact of that moment just was so real. HB 4869, which the representative from the 55th district introduced, would require universal background checks on all guns purchased in the state of Michigan, something that nearly 90% of Americans and Michiganders support, 90%. HB 6042 adds five words to the school code, critical incident mapping data. Surely we can do more than just five words. We have to do something more than just those five words. We have to do something for the two teachers, the two veteran teachers who were reportedly killed while shielding their students from gunfire. We have to do something for the fourth grade student who was shot while trying to dial 911 to save her classroom. Earlier that day, she received a certificate making the honor roll. Later that day, a death certificate. We have to do something for all of the 18 additional students and four of those young lives lost here in Michigan and the dozens of other lives that we don't even talk about because they don't even make the media. As a former teacher, I grieve for the students, the families, the teachers who were all lost yesterday and throughout the year. Y'all, these students just lost their chance to grow up. They were just kids having a normal day. I'm begging you to please help us protect our students, help us protect our teachers, protect our communities. Please vote yes on this amendment to expand background checks and tie bar these bills. Thank you.